So the Prime Minister has announced recently his affordability plan to help all Canadians, meaning he taxes you and then pays somebody in Ottawa to give you a check back. Franco Terrazano is with the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, joins me right now because to my mind, this sounds insane. Yeah, well, look, <laughs> Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is not serious about making life more affordable for Canadians. So this so-called plan is essentially the government breaks your leg, then hands you a crutch that's two sizes too small and says, hey, if it weren't for the government, you wouldn't be able to walk. Well, listen here, it should have been a no-brainer for the government at the very least to just not raise taxes during the middle of a pandemic. Well, well that seems to make sense. So they're raising taxes. The opposition has been saying, don't raise taxes. We're raising those taxes anyway. But, but, we're going to take a thousand bucks and we're going to skim it off and give you whatever it is, $900 back. So, I mean, how are Canadians buying this? You don't buy it, I don't buy it. Well, I don't think Canadians are. And look, a GST rebate is a nice gesture for some Canadians who are getting some of their money back. Yeah. But two thirds of Canadians are not getting one of these top up GST rebates. And look, if the Trudeau government was serious about affordability, they would just stop overtaxing people at the till to begin with. So, but this is not new. We've had tax and spend and tax and refund governments for ages, conservative and liberal. Hey, look, there's a lot of blame to go around when it comes to politicians and a lot of blame at all levels of government. So if, if you add up all the different taxes we pay to all the different levels of government, the average family is paying about 43% of their budget to taxes. What about the old idea that you go out, you have a job and you pay some taxes for people who are needy and other things? But then you, uh, you, know, you spend it on your own and you don't have the government to decide how to spend it. Well, that sounds good to me. And what about the old idea of focus and do a few things right? Don't try to be everything for everyone. But what this government wants to do in Ottawa is essentially spend more money on everything forever. And that's not prudent. Well, they aren't going to spend on the military because I learned today that um, the debt service, so the interest on the debt that the government has to pay next year will be bigger than the whole budget of defense. Isn't that crazy? And that's money where we're getting no bang for taxpayers bucks because instead of it going to lower taxes, uh, health care, uh, fixing the roads, that's going to the bond fund managers on Bay Street. Yeah, but you know, it's, and it's a result of that is because we, we've had so much debt before. So what did the government spend all that money on to incur that debt so we have to pay interest more than the whole Department of National Defense. Well, look, uh, the reason that Canadians are paying too much tax, the reason they're spending too much on interest is because the government's wasting too much money. Okay, they're wasting money like announcing hundreds of millions of dollars for companies like Bombardier or giving uh, 300,000 bureaucrats pay raises during lockdowns. Or here's another good one for you, spending $8,000 on a sex toy show in Germany. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about that. Franco, thanks very much. Three minutes. So in one year during the pandemic, CBC paid themselves $33 million in bonuses above their great salaries. We need a discussion in this country. We need analysis. If you agree with that, please help us on the air. Press PayPal and subscribe.